All right, welcome back, Pro Safety Leaders. In this video, we're going to talk around how to reinforce desired behaviors for your process safety leadership culture in your site. My name is Joel Laponte, and I'm here with my co-founder, Felipe Rendon at Safe Energy Ops. How are you doing, Felipe? Doing great, Joel. Hey, everybody. So hopefully this video adds value to you as a PSM site ops manager, consultant, or engineer that's looking to increase and promote process safety leadership culture in your site. What we see often on site as a common set of struggles is the following. One is site leaders are not modeling, right, what the desired behavior in terms of process safety leadership culture is, right? And so as process safety leaders, we have to essentially make sure that we are promoting that so that the rest of the site follows, right? Then the next common struggle that we see is desire behaviors not being discussed often enough. It is a journey to improve process safety leadership culture in your site. So this is something that we see often as a struggle when companies and sites are looking to essentially reinforce the desired behaviors and lack of after action reviews. I mean, these are mainly the three struggles that we see when we take in, you know, a site or a company that's looking to increase their process safety leadership culture. This is the most frequent ones, by all means, not inclusive, but let's go ahead and kind of walk through the steps that we have been able to detect as the main three basic steps to uh, reinforce the desire behaviors regarding process safety leadership culture in the site. So Felipe, if you don't mind, can you walk us through these uh, three steps that we have listed out here? Sure. So these three steps are intended to address the common struggles Joel just discussed. Step one starts with training leaders to hold each other accountable for displaying the desired process safety behaviors. As Joel mentioned, we find that site leaders themselves often don't model the actual desired behaviors that we are trying to promote. The leaders aren't modeling it. The workforce is not going to follow suit. And so we understand that to change your own behavior as a process safety leader won't happen overnight. It takes effort, takes time, but it also takes accountability. So by training leaders to hold each other accountable for displaying the desired behaviors, you're going to improve the chances of these desired behaviors becoming reinforced in the mindset of the process safety leaders, becoming second nature. We understand that with any change to how you do work, uh, there's going to be some reversion back to old habits. Step one is about process safety leaders looking out for each other and keeping each other in check and saying, hey, I noticed in that activity back there, you didn't say anything to Johnny when he didn't perform his safe pause before performing that pump maintenance. You should have a follow up conversation with Johnny and you should make sure that you're promoting the value of safe pauses whenever you discuss upcoming work activities. Step two is about discussing desired behaviors on a daily basis. And we're gonna do this by incorporating prompts into daily meeting agendas that require discussion about how work was performed that day and whether the desired behaviors were exhibited. This can include positive feedback or negative feedback about how a particular work activity was performed that day and whether the desired behaviors were displayed. This is going to reinforce now in the minds of the workforce what desired behaviors look like and that leadership is watching out for them and is looking for the workforce to exhibit them in the way that they do work. Finally, step three, perform periodic after action reviews and highlight desired and undesired safety behaviors. This is about those more complex, less routine tasks that are performed. And after the work is done, after the activity is completed, going back and performing an after action review that includes a review of the desired safety behaviors and whether or not they were the work was performed with those behaviors or not. This is going to, again, reinforce in the minds of the workforce what the desired safety behaviors looks like, that leadership is looking out for these behaviors when work is performed, and it allows everyone to improve time after time and further embed these desired behaviors and how work is done at the site. And those are the steps for getting desired behaviors reinforced and how a site does work. Makes sense, makes sense. Well, thank you for taking us through those three steps, Felipe. So as I mentioned earlier, this is only one step 
out of our nine step roadmap. And I want to invite you, want to formally invite you to take the Increase Process Safety Leadership Challenge. If you haven't done so, you can go to our website, uh, www.safeenergyops.com. Uh, we'll make sure that we tag a link here in the description. And what we have is we have a community of PSM site operations managers, process safety leaders, engineers that are all looking to move forward the process safety leadership conversation as it is a pillar and its foundation for you know reducing or eliminating risk events uh, regarding process safety leadership. So make sure you access and join the community. It's 100% free, no cost involved. We have exercises that you can use as a process safety moment for your site and get a crystal clear picture of the steps that you should be taking to increase your process safety leadership culture for your site. So uh, without further ado, hopefully you enjoyed this video and uh, we'll see you in the next one.